Hi, my name's Katrina Fay. I'm the National Manager for Philanthropy here at Perpetual. Perpetual is a 128-year-old trustee company. We're one of the largest managers of philanthropic funds in Australia, with over 990 charitable trusts and endowments supporting our clients' interests in philanthropy. So fundamentally our approach to impact philanthropy is providing philanthropists with all the tools and resources they require to make good decisions about having maximum community impact with their grant making. It also is about providing support to the not-for-profit sector in ways that's really usable for them. So impact philanthropy is fundamentally about providing philanthropists with all the tools and resources they need to make long-term community impact in their charitable giving. It's also about ensuring that we're listening to not-for-profit organisations and supporting them in ways that's going to be impactful and meaningful for them in the longer term. So Perpetual works with its clients and philanthropists in a number of ways, including the provision of grant-making support, trusteeship and compliance support, providing feedback loops for the not-for-profits that they're working with through reporting processes. We also support them with the provision of research and offering them great opportunities to collaborate with like-minded funders. So Perpetual recognises that grant-making is only one component, a really important component, but only one component of a way in which we can work with our clients to support the not-for-profit sector. We also recognise that strong governance and capability and investment, understanding trends and emerging issues for the sector are also really critical to ensuring the health and vibrancy of a responsive not-for-profit sector. To that end, we provide governance workshops. We partner with organisations like the Australian Institute of Company Directors to provide scholarships to allow not-for-profit board members and chairs to participate in non-profit governance workshops. We also support the not-for-profit sector with investment advice that's specific to understanding the needs and optimisation of investments for proper charitable outcomes and sustainability. Um, we also support organisations with technical expertise around bequesting and estate planning. So the combination of everything from grant making support to building capability within the not-for-profit sector is ultimately what impact philanthropy is and means for the not-for-profit sector as a whole. When we're working to assess the applications that we see coming into Perpetual via our application program, we're ultimately looking for strong organisations. Organisations that can speak to their strategy, have strong leadership, understand that outcomes are really what this is all about, and can also uh, demonstrate capability in their approach to mission. To that end, we're looking at organisations that are well governed, are mission aligned and have an understanding of the external factors that are affecting the organisation that they're working within and the sector that that organisation sits within. Fundamental to our belief is that quality organisations understand where their resources are most required to have impact in the communities that they're serving. To that end, our clients are happy and always interested in supporting projects that are specific in delivery through to core operational costs. We understand that there are a wide range of needs that not-for-profit organisations have and require addressing in order for them to meet with their missions. We understand that philanthropy plays an important role in terms of risk capital for the not-for-profit sector, but equally we're aware that some organisations need funding to sustain programs that are doing really, really well already. We also understand that funds are occasionally required for core costs, infrastructure, and for building capability of the not-for-profit organisation to respond to the issues that they're seeing on the ground. So Perpetual focuses its assessment really on the organisations that are applying rather than on the projects that are being applied for. There are four key pillars of assessment that we look at around strategy, outcomes, capability and leadership. And all of our assessments within the application form are focused around those particular areas. We're of the belief that strong organisations are delivering great outcomes for community and for philanthropists on the ground. So when we talk about strategy, we're looking for organisations that can speak to their mission, understand how effective they are and how they're performing against that particular mission. We ask questions within the application form around KPIs specific to how does your organisation know how effective it is. We're looking for responses that give us an indication that you as an organisation understand how well you're performing and what changes or challenges that you're facing within that particular parameter. Also within strategy, we're looking for you to address what some of the key risks are for your organisation. And some examples of that might be, are you working with children? Are you managing a large volunteer workforce? 
what are some of the key risks that might affect the way that your organisation goes about being effective? Around outcomes, we're looking for organisations that can demonstrate evidence that's measurable, realistic and can provide to our clients a really clear picture of what the longer term impact of funding and programs are on the communities that they're working with. Within the question around outcomes for your projects, we're asking for you to address not the outputs, not the numbers of people that walk through the door, but the actual impact of the programs on those individuals in the longer term going forward. Around capability, we're looking for organisations that might understand what a sustainable business model looks like for them. That might be around how they make use of volunteers, how they utilise donated goods. Within the application process, we ask some questions around efficiency and ask you to identify some KPIs related to how does your organisation measure its efficiency and how's it going against those particular efficiency measures. Around leadership, we're looking for organisations that have a really clear understanding of the external environment in which they're operating. Our clients want to be sure that the organisations they're supporting understand the policy pressures that might fall to bear within the coming year or two, have an understanding of who else is working in the spaces that they're working. We ask some specific questions within the application form that focus on those external questions. And we're looking for responses that demonstrate a real understanding of what those particular issues might be, not just for your organisation, but also for the sector that you're working in. The impact application program process from start to finish can take up to six months. When you submit your application, the first thing that we do is undertake an eligibility check to make sure that your organisation has the appropriate status to receive funds. We then undertake the assessment process, which is looking at those four pillars of strategy, capability, leadership and outcomes. If you're a medical research organisation, we'll also apply some additional filters to look at the efficacy of the research submission that you've made. We then undertake a matching process that allows us to link quality projects and proposals with our clients in their areas of interest. Those clients then sit down with us and their families to make some decisions about where their distributions are going to go. And once those decisions have been made, we'll contact all organisations and let them know what the results of their submission actually was. Another exciting opportunity falling from Impact Philanthropy is that Perpetual will be identifying organisations who've done consistently well in our application program over the past three years. Those organisations will be invited to apply for funds of up to a million dollars. They can decide to use those funds in any way they see fit to improve outcomes for the communities in which they're working. It might be to build internal capability, it might be to work to a new strategy, or it might be to fund or sustain programs that they're already working within. At Perpetual, we're keen to be as transparent as possible both about our application program and our assessment process. To that end, we're providing lots of resources that will help you in writing your submission. Via our website, you'll find slide packs, frequently asked questions and guidelines all designed to help you in putting your best foot forward.